Hey guys, it's Carter here with Dallas Cowboys 95. I uh, just want to talk more about this disgusting loss. You know, I just wanted to, you know, I saw some things and I think it was what Seattle had 136 total yards of offense and they had 142 yards worth of penalties and they still won the game 21 to 12. Let that sink in, guys. Let that sink in. That That's disgusting. That's all coaching right there. And, um, yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm still frustrated. It's good. You know, I just don't understand how you go away from Zeke. Zeke's my guy. He's my favorite guy. I love to feed me. He's my favorite player. And, you know, they didn't have Zeke for six weeks, you guys. They didn't have Zeke for six weeks. And they sit there and moan about it. La, la, la. We lose. We get blown out three games in a row. Yeah, whatever. We win three in a row, and then we get we get our horse back, and we don't even give him the ball. When it was crunch time and he was starving, he's still hungry. They didn't feed him. They did not feed Zeke. Twenty four carries is not enough. It's not enough. I never felt in the second half that Elliott was on the field. I never felt that. I always felt like it was Albert Morris or Rod Smith. I didn't feel like Elliott was there because they didn't use him. That's that's awful. I mean, that is just horrible. I, I don't understand why they didn't keep running and running and running and running and running and running and running. Running, guys. I, we will wear teams down. Our old line is the best. Well, not today, but Zeke, I, I just don't get it. Why would they go away from him? You know, he it was crunch time. This was the kind of game like I, when we played Green Bay early in the year. Elliott ran down ran down their throats the last drive when Prescott scored, but we ended up losing. But still, that was a perfect drive for Elliott today. Could have drove it down the field a couple times and just ran and ran and ran. I, I, I just, why not go to your horse? You know, you got him back, use him. They didn't even use him. I, I don't understand the play calling. Um, it was awful. Um... I'm not really going to sit here all tonight or the night after the loss, you know. I got Christmas Day tomorrow and stuff, you know. I, I'm not going to sit here and talk about what we should do with all these players that are free agents and who we should sign and re-sign. And, I don't know, I'm not going to talk about that tonight. Do I want Des Bryant damn near gone? Yes. I, I want Des to move on and go to a contender. And, and I still think we're a contender next year. But we're not going to win shit with Garrett. I know that. So why even get excited for next year, you know? Um, but, yeah, it's just it's just bad. I mean, the fact that they have a, a home game, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but, man, it's just uh, it just sucks, you know? A lot of teams lost today that helped us, and we just couldn't finish the deal. Ugh. And Dak just threw Dez under the bus, but that's good. That's good. That's good for Dak to step out and say, well, you know, I threw the ball to him, he drops it, you know, or he catch, catches one, he fumbles it, you know. As soon as I thought does, he made that nice catch Dak through that rope spin out to the right or whatever, or right, no, and I, I Prescott spun to his left, and he put a rope on a does, and does caught it. And I thought, maybe here's some momentum now, does is going to start playing finally. And then next play, whoop, off his forehead, interception. I mean, it's... It's terrible. It, it was terrible. It was he was over there crying. He looked like T.O. Jr. It was terrible. I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. These Des didn't look like he wanted to play football. And I, I, I got nothing else to say about you, Des. I can't back you any longer. I can't sit there and say, you know, that's my guy. 88's cold. He's a good receiver. Stop hating. He he's not a good receiver. He's just not. I, I'm out of answers for you, Des. I can't. I can't defend you anymore. The way you performed today, that was that was definitely the last straw, Des. That's it. I can't defend you anymore, dude. You're you're just you're done. And you you're, you that was it. And you know, I, I I had high expectations for him this year. The playoff game he had last year against Green Bay, he dominated. And I said he's gonna have a big year this year. And yeah, I was really wrong about that. So. I'm not going to really discuss, like, what we should do with him, but I don't think he should have a star in his helmet next year, so he should be somewhere else. Go to Jacksonville or something. That'd be a good spot for him. But, uh, yeah, another disappointing year. Um, this The passing game is so predictable. So predictable. It's 
they run 10 yard button hooks that's it they don't they don't guys can't run they can't separate they can't catch and t will catches with his body beasley's had a terrible year and they're just t will didn't even score a touchdown this year and butler was a boss to the second half of the year he couldn't play i don't know why but uh, and Beasley, what he had four touchdowns, only had two two touchdown games, so he didn't do shit. Otherwise, the Green Bay and Kansas City games. So, yeah, it was just a disappointing season all around. Um, a lot of distractions. Zeke Elliott did anthem shit early on, and you know all the and Jerry Jones fighting with Goodell and all the injuries again. And it was just a mess. It's a mess, and there were a lot of expectations this year. But I knew that, dude. You know, you lost 40% of your offensive line. Ronald Leary signed in Denver. And a lot of people didn't understand how good Leary really was. He was a great guard for us. Doug Free was better than people think. He retired. And I'm not saying Lyle Collins did a horrible job. I'm sure he did a pretty good job. He's definitely our <laughs> right tackle of the future. But, man, uh, that hurts losing 40% of our own line. A lot of people didn't understand that we had a whole new secondary. A bunch of rookie guys. From Woods, Awuzie, Frazier, Lewis, all those new guys. Brown's even second-year guy. He's trash. But they let Church, Claiborne, Carr, and Wilcox all go. And that that's going to take time to build that secondary up. Jalen Smith's a work in progress. Taco Charlton's a work in progress. And they're just young. And you kind of got to let this process play out. Uh, Sean Lee, Hitchens are a future. Jalen Smith, those three guys can be a dynamic core in the future if they can keep them intact. And Smith can be anything he kind of he was in college. But yeah, they just <laughs> they got a pass rusher now, Lawrence. We got a franchise tag and bring back David Irving. Um, you know, obviously Crawford and maybe hopefully Randy Gregory can come back now. That'd be cool. See what he can do. Uh, you got Charles Tapper and you know, see. What, I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, the defense is definitely looking bright for the future. I think still think they need a lot of help. They need a safety. I think Earl Tom. And the thing that happened after the game, Earl Thomas. Chased down Jason Garrett and Des Bryant before they went in the locker room and said, if you have a chance to sign me, come get me. He wants to be a cowboy, obviously. Clearly, I can't believe he did that. But, yeah, I'll, t <coughs> I'll take Earl Thomas. I mean, hell yeah, I'd take Earl Thomas. Dude's a let Hall of Fame safety, probably a Super Bowl champion. And that's a guy we would need. Skandrick's a veteran guy, but he hasn't won anything. He doesn't know what it's like to win a Super Bowl. Earl Thomas knows what it's like to win a Super Bowl, so I'll take that guy. And, you know, he's still a free, he's not a free agent next year. We have to wait another year. But yeah, I just think that, you know, on an offense, I believe they should re-sign Cooper. And I I think they should keep that line. I think that they need to draft maybe a guard or a tackle to work behind Smith. Because like I said in my last video, you can't have Bell in the green. They suck. So, um, yeah, just need some new receivers. I don't know what we draft. Probably in the twenty or the twenties, we'll probably go eight and eight. Hopefully, we do be a better draft pick. So, hope we get pounded next week. But uh, yeah, we need to draft. We need to draft a receiver, one of the better ones. Maybe trade up. Uh, maybe trade for a receiver this off season. Maybe sign an elite one, <clears throat> Devonte Adams, <clears throat> Mike Evans. But you know, chances are <laughs> they'll sign guys like Nolan Carroll, you know, and Devontae Moore, Stephen Paya. You know, those guys. Would, all three of those guys, hmm, they're not. They haven't been on the team since October. They got, they're all gone. So, no, no, we didn't add anybody this off season. We drafted a bunch of rookies that are average this year. So, um, yeah, it's it's a work in progress, and it was just a shitty year from the beginning. I could tell the way we performed week one against the Giants. We won, but it was a shitty performance. We got our asses handed to us by Denver, Rams and Packers back to back losses. You know, and then the three. It was just, uh, it was this ooh, shitty year. Last year, we ripped off 11 in a row. We were I thought we were going to win the Super Bowl, but that didn't happen. But, yeah, guys, I'm probably going to go to sleep. I got a Christmas out of town tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll get more. I'll make a lot of videos uh, about the draft and who we should go after and, you know, put more heart and soul into this team and get pumped for next year, try to get pumped for next year. It's going to suck another year not watching the playoffs um, or watching, you know, NFC titles and stuff, and our team's not in it, you know, so... Uh, but it's not surprising. It's Jason Garrett. You know, what do you expect? So, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, this is Carter with Dallas Cowboys and 95. Like and comment on the video. Subscribe to my page and comment who you guys think we should go after, who we should draft. What do we think? What do you think we need? Who should go? Who should stay? All that stuff. Let me know. I'll interact with you guys. And, uh, yeah, guys, but yeah, that's Carter with Dallas Cowboys and 95. Everyone have a good Christmas tomorrow. 
and just try to put this behind you. I know it's going to be hard. Long, another long off season, guys. I can't believe it's already the off season, man. The season went fast. All right, guys. Love you all. Go Cowboys. As always, we're true fans. We love our team. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Peace.